In this video, I'll show you how to use the Roland Prepress Design Templates for use in Adobe Illustrator. Now, if you're involved with setting up um, cut files or UV print files for a variety of the Roland printer cutters or UV devices, chances are you will have encountered this scenario. So you have your artwork all set up here, your contour cuts or special color plates are all generated, and then it comes time to assign those special Roland swatches. Well, there's a few options to do so. You can go to the swatch panel and just create these swatches on the fly. You can navigate to the swatch libraries and then import one of the Roland libraries. And these are both fine methods, but if you're doing this uh, time and time again, the step becomes a little tedious. So I found a nice workaround this I thought I'd share. Um, I've gone ahead and created a templated file here which has all the Roland kind of operational swatches built right in along with the color system. So I'll give you a tour of what this looks like and then I'll also show you how to implement this into your program. Starting off, I'm going to go ahead and select the file tab here. Go to the new from template or control shift N option. And we'll find ourselves in this template folder built into the installation directory. So by default, you have a Plank Templates uh, library here, and I've gone ahead and dropped in the Roland Prepress template. Go ahead and open this up, and we can take a look at what we have here. So when you open this up, you'll have a 1920 by 1080 artboard here, and your swatch panel will, by default, have all the, uh, the Roland swatches built in here. So up top, I have this folder filled with uh, the gloss and white swatches for use with the UV printers, along with the cut contour and perf cut contour kind of operational swatches. Below that, I also have the rolling color system all docked in here. You can hover over any of these and kind of check your um, colors there. But it's nice to have these all built in within this template file. Now, the way this works, uh, when you're preparing a file for design, you would have this uh, template loaded up. You would then place or import your graphics into this template and then prepare cut lines and swatches accordingly. The aim of this template again is just to save a few clicks from having to import uh, these swatches in every single time. Uh, it really automates a bit of the workflow. I'm gonna go ahead and link this Roland design template in the description below, but if you'd like to implement this or kind of um, build it into your instance of Adobe Illustrator, you can simply go to the File, New from Template menu, where we were at before, and then drag and drop that template right into this folder here. Note that this will generally require admin access to place anything in here, so make sure that you have that before doing so. Following that, you can uh, just simply use the steps here to implement that and build your workflow uh, around this template. I hope this tip helps automate your Adobe Illustrator design workflow and save a few clicks along the way.